Hello Rambonators and welcome to the One Marker Challenge. In the past weeks you might have seen the Three Marker Challenge and the Two Marker Challenge, which I did just with the Trin Markers from Deco Time, which I bought in the Action Store. The markers are available in a set of 12 markers, which only costs about 4 euros, and in a set with 3 markers, which only costs 1 euro. And the prices of these markers are pretty insane. These markers are super cheap, and if you have interest to see more of these markers, uh, just make sure to check out the description box down below. There are some links um, which will lead you either to the uh, previous marker challenges or the um, twin marker review I did about these markers. So just so you know, everything I used in this video and a lot more information is listed in the description box down below. And if you're wondering, when did she pick the colors for these challenges? Um, I made a whole video just about picking the colors. Yeah, it's just a video about randomly choosing the colors of these challenges. So if you're interested uh, to see my funny face and uh, how I picked the colors, uh, yeah, link below. No? <laughs> Red. Yeah, it's a difficult color and, and of course it was also pretty difficult to um, achieve any color gradient. There's no uh, brush nib, there's only the chisel and the broad nib and both of them are pretty hard and not flexible. And red is a very stupid color if you're doing a one marker challenge. So that's why I also used a brush pen to create some contrast. I wanted her to look a bit like a comic figure and that's why I added some harsh and bold shadows to achieve this comic style. And black suits very well with every color and so it's always a good solution if you need some contrast. In my previous marker videos I asked you for your ideas um, of what I could draw for the one marker challenge. So I get pretty inspired by your ideas, uh, so thank you for that. I had instantly a rough idea of a woman with horns, a bit like a demon. And if you're following my channel for quite some time, you will already know that I really like to draw spontaneous. Just turn the camera on and just draw something and see what will happen. Sometimes it's something good and sometimes it's not. It's the same with this piece and this time I felt a bit insecure because of using mainly one marker with a color that is pretty harsh. And I know I can already hear the voices, but you used black! <sighs> Obviously, and I used paper, and now what? Anyways, I have often mentioned that this color scared me at first and it was really not easy to handle because the nibs are not flexible enough and um, it was difficult to create dynamic and thin lines because of that, uh, just like I already mentioned before. But while drawing with this, I enjoyed it to use this marker and the brush pen together. So I was pretty surprised how it turned out at the end and it was kind of meditative and relaxing for me. Just to go with the flow, you know? <laughs> of course I could have done the line work first before I choose the colors for the challenges, but with something like the one or two marker challenge I want to be able to create something uh, together with the line work and not just filling empty spaces of the prepared line works. I personally like to be able to create some variation like skipping some black lines on her shoulder and using instead just the red marker for example. 
And for me, it's not possible if I um, draw a full line work first. Because being spontaneous means that now I like to draw like this and later I like to draw like that. And it always depends on how the mood is, the current mood and um, what I want to create at the moment. And it's not possible for me to be spontaneous if I create a line art before. Because line arts are connected with um, pre-sketches and uh, a plan. So working with a line art um, doesn't mean that you are spontaneous. Or let me say, um, being spontaneous with um, a color that is randomly choosed. You can draw a line art or a sketch spontaneous, but the next step, the coloration, is something that is already planned. It's a bit difficult to uh, explain, but uh, this is just my opinion of this. I like how she looks a bit romantic, um, just like she's dreaming, but of course also seductive and not really like an evil demon who just wants to kill and eat babies or cute little kittens. That's just terrible. Her horns are not even and I think it's a bit difficult to draw them evenly uh, without a good reference. But I tried my best uh, and nobody's perfect, not even a romantic looking demon. <laughs> so well, there's not that much left to talk about. Uh, for today's video I don't have any topic to talk about like in my previous videos. Like in the uh, three marker challenge I talked about why sketching and messing things up is important to improve your skills and why it's good to let that shit go and <laughs> stop trying to draw perfect while sketching and in the two marker challenge video i'm telling a story about the picture i drew but this time there's nothing special so sorry if it's kind of boring for you but if you like you can watch my other marker challenges i mentioned uh these are more interesting i think and you can find them on my channel and also in the description box down below. And this is the end of my little series of the Action Twin Marker Challenge videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let's see, maybe there will be some more in the future with these markers. And maybe there will be some challenge videos with other markers. Let's see. If you want me to do some other challenges, you can always put your request in the comment section down below. And if you saw the marker challenges I did the past three weeks, I'd like to know which one is your favorite and why it's your favorite. I'm pretty excited to hear your opinions and the final thing I need to say, uh, my Etsy store. There are some art books with my art inside and these are still available. So if you're interested to get an art book, with my art inside, um, just make sure to check out my Etsy store and also make sure to check it out if you're interested to buy my original art or prints. And also, commissions are open. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!